last time. But the, tell me about the golden age of Mexican cinema. Because you know a lot about this, and you were actually telling me a ton about this, and I actually think this is really interesting as we're kind of talking more through what we were, our topic today. Because in general, I think that there's, this is something that's not super highlighted. And it, it was such a big part of cinema for, pe- for our people, for our, our race, of ethnicity, whatever you want to call it. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I love movies. You know? I'm a big movie guy, and uh, I really, my goal is to you know, produce and write movies and stuff. And you know, when I get older, that's, I, I want to wake up in the morning and write a script. You know? Yep. Or write a song, you know. That's that's kind of my goal. Uh, that's my my long term job. Um, and um, but um, growing up, you know, my dad and I and my family would watch these old movies on TV, these black and white movies, you know, from the fifties. Um, you know, it was called uh, Cine de Oro. You know what I mean? Um, it was movies like with Cantin Flas. It was with Pedro Infante, Tintan, and all these beautiful, like, amazingly. And it was like t- toe to toe with you know American Hollywood movies. You know what I mean? If not even better. If not better, exactly. And a lot of the you know <clears throat> German filmmakers. And I think I saw a little bit of clips of that when I was watching the the movie on on Cantin Flas when everything kind of like moved to Hollywood mm. and they just left Mexico in the dust and they never been able to catch up since, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, um, but it's, it's funny because a lot of the greatest actors were Mexican right? Uh, from that era and to now be in 2020 and we're barely getting a, uh, uh, some Mexican, you know, film writers and actors and producing their own films. Like it took us almost what, 60 years, 70 years to kind of start being in films and now how we were talking about like you know Mexicans don't even play Mexicans in movies you know yeah, like, exactly. it's like it's like it's kind of weird but at the end of the day like we don't really trip on the shit like that you know no cuz it's i think it all comes down to talent you know right. what i mean that's number one that's the biggest thing and right. and really being able to as best as possible convey what you're trying to say do you, under, to do, you say. do you know what it is i think also bro i don't really think that mexican people think they could be actors mm. until recently mm, interesting uh, i think the theory to me is that like because i grew up and if i told my mom i wanted to be an actor my dad or, or i can imagine my dad telling his dad that he wanted to be an actor they'd be like get the fuck out of here bro like get yeah, a real I fucking mean, that's, job that's like saying you're gonna work. be an artist or yeah. a musician or yeah something, like they right? would be like get the fuck out of here dude like go right. get a job so how are you gonna, you're not gonna be able to feed your kids with movies you know right. you know what i mean so it's like is that a, a U.S. Latino thing or Latinx no, thing? No, no, no. I think that's a, that's that's from Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Okay. Because it's different. Mm. I think I think an immigrant from Mexico is a lot different from a lot of other immigrants because I think when you come from Mexico as an immigrant, you know that you might never see your family ever again. You're you're making an entire investment to change your life for ever, um, drastically forever. You're starting all over again. Yeah. And. You know, and I have so many people that I know that haven't seen their moms and dads for 12 years, yeah. 15, 20 years, and all they, 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 all they are is uh, maybe a fucking couple hundred bucks every month. Yeah. That's all they are to their family. Yeah. And, that was, and that's all they could actually do to show that they love their family, because, but they'll never be able to hug them. Yeah, you're not physically there. You're not going to be able to see them grow right. up, um, help them. Yeah. You know, um, and it's a big, it's a big dilemma, and I think that it, 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 there's a lot of different effects that long-term effects from that. Um, and and that that plays into potentially how that cultural role has an impact mm-hmm. on the amount of people who amount of Mexicans, Latinos, Latinxes, people who are in the film industry, right? But I think so. In so, ge- so what I'm saying, you're in a casting agency, right? right. And the parts place for a Mexican, right? Right. You have a fucking real Mexican here that doesn't really believe in himself, right? Right. Or you have some fucking you know, New, new, new made, Zealander that can fucking act his ass off. You know what I mean? Who, who are you going to hire? Who looks <laughs> Mexican enough <laughs> yeah. and can play the role really well. Like, who are you going to hire? You know? <laughs> like, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you I, know mean, I mean, I don't know. Is, is that the real truth? Or is it racism? What is it? No. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's a little bit of both. Mm. And I think it might be a little bit more of like, we just need some really good Mexican actors. Yeah. They really believe in themselves. Well, and like you and, said, and go for it. And in, in the scene of the Oro, dreams, the scene of the Ordo times, it's like that was empowering an area. Well, the arts. to do that, the well, arts in general, right? People, people. Well, it comes from hard times, hardship, right? You know, everybody knows that hardship brings you know art. You know, mm-hmm. it comes in the street food. It comes in, 
you know, you know, music, from, where music if you if it comes, you know, from the, visual the fields, arts, whatever, you know, like yeah. everything, like all that stuff that people work, you know, the singing in the fields, all that yeah. stuff, like that comes, you know, you could feel the the passion in the music. You you create styles out of pain. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, when you when you write, you you write about a breakup. You write about someone you lost. You, yeah. You know what I mean? It's never just like uh, like hardly you know where, where you get your inspiration from. It's like. How do you make a diamond? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you, a diamond in the rough type situation, you know, right? But because how do you make you, a diamond though? You fucking crush rocks together. You know what yeah, I mean? Under you, massive amounts of pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you crush rocks under <laughs> massive amounts. Of, was it rocks? Or stones or sand. whatever? Sand or whatever. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, bye, <laughs> <Bicep laughs> <facts. laughs> Yeah. <laughs>